This isn't a complete Normandy guide, since I know you might find this video months after it's been posted. This walkthrough covers your first visit to board the Normandy after leaving the Citadel. You'll speak with Admiral Hackett, you get two options to respond, each are worth two points towards Paragon or Renegade. Directly in front of you is the new War Terminal. The first screen shows war assets that you've acquired from previous decisions. The total military strength value is the number of points that you've earned so far. The readiness rating defaults to 50%, but you can increase this by playing multiplayer modes. Leveling up and completing missions increases the number. Readiness rating is a multiplier against your total points. You can see the total strength points are reduced by half to reflect your effective military strength. By playing multiplayer, you can find success following the main storyline. To get the most out of single player, you'll need to complete most of the side missions and scan the majority of planets. Your effective military strength has a major impact on how the game ends. The other screen, Theaters of War, simply breaks down how your multiplayer progress is affecting your playthrough. In the next room, you'll find the Alliance Shuttle model by a pile of crates if you had it in Mass Effect 2 and imported your save. Continue forward to the Command Center where Specialist Trainer starts your first N7 mission. These are side missions that offer new weapons, mods, and most importantly, war assets. Speak with Trainer if you'd like. She is a romance option for female Shepard, but not males. If you want to hook up or at least want the option, be sure to exhaust all investigate dialogue options. Just like real life, you have to, or at least have to pretend to be, interested in everything about her. This lets you respond with nowhere is really safe, which begins the process. If you miss this, you can still bring it up during the first several missions. You can also access the terminal next to her to read your email. You'll get several messages here, many of which you want to access from your private quarters. If you bought the Collector's Edition, there's going to be a lot more here telling you all about your bonus rewards. Also, if you've downloaded the From Ashes DLC, reading the email Priority Mission Eden Prime adds that side mission to your journal. There's another section here with some tutorials on the Mass Effect combat system if you're new to the series or need a review. Next, you can go head up to the cockpit and say hi to Seth Green. You won't earn any points here, but by speaking to him regularly, you can help Joker romance someone. It's not Shepard. If you want, you can check out your private quarters by taking the elevator to the captain's cabin. There's a restroom with a mirror and a working toilet. You have another private terminal here, which has an additional option of changing your squad member's outfits instead of waiting to start a new mission. There's additional info available about their abilities, weapons, and current active bonuses. The fish tank makes a return, though there's nothing in it yet. You also have a sound system that plays music. You also have access to an armor locker here. The casual outfit is what you'll wear aboard the Normandy. This is purely for show. Your armor set is what you'll be using on missions. Any armor you've unlocked can be changed here. For example, if you grab the chest upgrade on Mars, you can see wearing it will give you faster shield regeneration at the cost of some of your max health. If you want to customize the color of your armor, play with the patterns and tints at the bottom. Be sure to rotate your character to see what all of the options like lights do. When you're ready, head down to the crew deck. In the life support area, there's a Destiny Ascension model for your display case, which is available to everyone. You also want to head to the medical bay. You'll notice a station that allows you to select bonus powers. You don't have any yet, but you'll get one soon. You can only have one bonus power at a time, and this station lets you switch at any time for a price. Past that is a reset power station, which refunds all of your points and lets you re-specialize your powers or your squad mate's powers. Now this is a great way to undo a bad decision later or change your build around. The first time is free for every squad member, including yourself. The second time costs 5,000 credits, and the third time costs 10,000. I was too broke to keep going. On the other side of this room, speak with your doctor. The dialogue will be different depending on which doctor you recruited, as well as whether or not you imported your game or started a brand new playthrough. Take the time to go through the other dialogue, especially with Chakwes, if you shared a drink with her before. Talking to either doctor gains you two reputation points. Now opposite of the medical bay, enter Liara's office to trigger a cutscene where you meet Glyph. It tells you about the nearby intel terminal, which will be used to apply upgrades later in the game. When that finishes, you'll overhear a conversation between Liara and Joker. Speak with her for another cutscene. She is a romance option for both male and female Shepard, so if you want that possibility, then respond kindly to her. You'll gain two reputation points either way. Speak with her again when the cutscene finishes, if you want to start working on her friendship. The broker terminal next to her has more information for you to read, but there's nothing useful at this time. When you're ready, head to the engineering deck. At the bottom of the stairs are the Turian cruiser model and Sovereign models, which are available for everyone. Speak with Engineer Adams next, going through all of the dialogue options, and you'll earn two more reputation points. If you head to the starboard cargo area to meet with the reporter Diana Allers, asking her to get support gives you two Paragon points, but focusing on Cerberus gives you two points to Renegade. You'll also gain two reputation points just for speaking with her. 
Finally head down to the shuttle bay, speak with Cortez for an explanation on how the supply chains work. Your first response to him is a Paragon or Renegade decision worth two points. Cortez is a romance option only for male Shepard if you're looking for a little man love, but both male and female Shepard can still earn his friendship. Take the time to investigate all possible dialogue either way, as working on him unlocks a different outcome for him in a mission later in the game. Next to Cortez is the procurement interface, which gives you access to any of the stores that you've visited previously. You can buy things you missed here to save you a trip, but the prices are going to be marked up by 10%. You can grab the Alliance Kodiak model from Alliance Requisitions if you want it for your collection. Next to that, the weapons upgrade interface lets you improve the stats of any weapons that you've unlocked. Early on, your credit supply is limited, so you might want to focus on the one weapon you like best instead of spreading the upgrades out evenly. You can use the nearby weapon bench to apply mods to set up your loadout and modify your weapons. Take note of your weight, as the heavier your loadout is, the longer your powers will take to recharge. Modifying a weapon unlocks a personal touch achievement or trophy if you didn't unlock it on Mars. There's also another armor locker here, which works the same way as the one in your private quarters. For previously imported save users, head left to get your model freighter. The Quarian model is also nearby in the crate near James. You want to speak with James and respond with the top option both times. He'll spar with you, which has multiple opportunities for Paragon and Renegade interrupts. Renegade options attack him, while Paragon ones defend yourself. If you choose only Paragon options, and once you're done fighting, choose the top dialogue option, then James is also willing to talk more with you in your cabin. He talks a good game, but he's not a romance option and simply wants to talk about his respect for you. You do earn two reputation points for this first encounter and unlock the bonus power Fortification, which can now be applied at the medical bay for 5,000 credits. Past James on the left is the model Normandy SR1 available to everyone. For those of you who had them in a previous save, you can also head to the right side of the bay to collect your Alliance and Geth cruiser models. As you collect them, they show up in the display case near the computer terminal in your private quarters. Once you've done it all, head to the galaxy map back at the command center. From here, you have the free will to decide where to travel next and what missions you want to work on. After entering a system, you take control of the Normandy to move around. The scan feature works different than previous Mass Effect games. Scanning while in the Normandy reveals hidden resources, fuel, war assets, or quest items. You don't need to manually scan every planet, unless the scan ability from the ship reveals something. I will be covering scanning in depth in future videos. That wraps up your first tour of the Normandy. From here, you can start the first N7 mission, the From Ashes DLC mission, or continue the main story mission with Priority Palavent. Have fun, thanks for watching.